retailer. Number one in Central California, this is ABC 30 Action News, AM Live. At 6 a.m., we're tracking breaking news from overnight out of Porterville. Olive Street near the high school is closed this morning after a police officer was shot by a suspect around 11.30 last night. Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos is the only live crew at the scene. Vanessa, what can you tell us this morning? Veronica, Tony, I can tell you that the officer is in stable condition. In fact, the chief of police tells me that he's in good spirits now recovering at the hospital with his family. Um, that, however, is not the case for the suspect who was shot at least four times. But we'll get to that in just a second to give you an idea of what happened at around 1115 last night. You can see this cop car right here just behind a car. It was a, a traffic stop and the driver took off toward H Street. So if we're going to pan down the street to where the shooting actually occurred. So the driver shot back and or the driver fired at an officer. Two officers then returned fire. We do know that he was shot at least four times. Um, However, you can see those evidence markers are, are in about the 20s. I did speak to witnesses nearby. They said they heard at least 10. Um, so we do know that the shooter, 29-year-old Ruben Corrales, um, he has several warrants um, that are drug-related at this time. He was pulled over for an equipment violation. That could be anything from a, a broken taillight to a uh, to a license plate um, malfunction. So uh, keep in mind, this is the first time a Porterville officer has been shot in at least two decades. It absolutely is a scary time. You know, it's, uh, you know, uh, stuff like this just, you know, it doesn't happen in Porterville. You know, I've, I've been here 23 years and, and never has an officer been shot uh, in, in my time here. Wow. Um, and uh, it is scary. We have asked the Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau, if he is crew, could come in and do an investigation, and he absolutely allowed them to do that. He went on to say this is also the first officer-involved shooting since December 24th of last year. Now, back here live, you can see Tulare County Sheriff's Office is conducting this investigation. We have several officers out here right now. Uh, Olive Street is going to be shut down from J to H. And keep in mind, we are just across the street from Porterville High School. So um, this will be a traffic impact. Try to avoid the area if possible, as they don't know when this will reopen. They say at least several hours. I'm going to send it back to you in studio. Veronica Tony. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Well, let's get a look at our Friday forecast with a live look from our Fresno Sky Cam. Not looking too bad. Nah, it's Friday. Rob has a closer look at what to expect today. Hey, Rob. Hey there. Good morning. Temperatures are staying a little bit cooler as we start this Friday. That's the trend that's going to continue as we head into the weekend as well. Temperatures outside at the moment mostly in the 60s to low 70s. Fresno, the only spot left in the 70s. Everyone else in the mid-60s, 64 to 66 degrees across the valley floor with clear skies out there, but smoke is lingering in the valley along with some haze. You're going to notice it's a little bit more thick this morning than what we've seen over the last couple of days. High pressure is still keeping things trapped here on the valley floor, but low pressure will bring us a slight cool down that continues all the way through Monday. Unfortunately, the high pressure center is trapping that big, excuse me, that uh, amount of smoke that's making its way into the valley, trigger, triggering an air quality warning that's in effect through 3.30 on Saturday for the small and fine particulate matter that's coming into the valley from smoke from those fires. Low 70s at 7 o'clock, we're up to the low 80s at 10 a.m. with highs mostly in the low triple digits and upper 90s. But those will continue to cool down. I'll let you know when those temperatures bottom out coming up in just a few minutes. Veronica, back to you. It's Rob. Well, happening now, a wildfire burning on the edge of Kern and Tulare counties is forcing evacuations this morning. The Cedar Fire is burning along Highway 155 in the mountains east of Delano. Almost 10,000 acres have burned so far, with the flames just 5% contained. Dangerous fire weather is a big factor on the fire lines there. A fire is driven by three things. That's fuel, weather, and topography. For the most part, this fire has been fuel and topography driven. But now with this wind we're seeing this afternoon, there's also a, a weather factor. Not only is it hot and dry, but that wind is pushing north as well. Well, the flames are moving north, forcing mandatory evacuations in places like Idlewild in Tulare County. An evacuation center has been set up at Porterville College, and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Developing news, progress this morning at that fast-moving wildfire in San Bernardino County. 
Crews near Cajon Pass had the blaze 22% contained this morning, up from just 4% yesterday. Almost 36,000 acres have burned so far, including an unknown number of homes. Officials expected that number to be extensive once that number is released. More than 80,000 people are still impacted by evacuations, but a few are being allowed to go home. As reporter Chelsea Edwards shows us, thousands of others are staying at an evacuation center in Fontana. There's a lot of things up there that we weren't able to pack that we can't replace. With flames racing toward her Lytle Creek home, Lisa Gregory only had about 20 minutes to pack. Imagine everything you own being taken from you and you have absolutely no control. There's nothing you can do. Now she's calling the Red Cross Evacuation Center in Fontana home, missing everything about the one she had to leave behind. It's so calm and peaceful. You can hear the water running when you're laying in your room. It's, it's beautiful. She's one of thousands of people under mandatory evacuation orders, many taking shelter with the Red Cross. Every disaster is different, but for the individuals who go through it, it's the worst of their, day of their life. And we're the best thing that happens to them sometimes. Red Cross volunteer Larry Fortmuller says the services at the center offer much more than just a temporary home. Very often, it's just a shoulder to cry on, but also it's practical. Three meals a day, a safe place to sleep, security, uh, and then the resources to begin the steps that you need to take to recover. The flames leaving a path of destruction in their third day. Structures in Swarthout Canyon gone. Areas of Lytle Creek scorched. Miles of power lines still smoldering. Firefighters were able to save many homes, but outbuildings, garages, and cars in the Cajon Valley along Highway 138 were destroyed in the flames. Nearby, firefighters worked to save the historic Clyde Ranch where Wyatt Earp used to stay. One of the buildings didn't make it. Firefighters continue continued their strong air attack, gaining ground on the blaze that's now scorched more than 50 square miles. That was Chelsea Edwards reporting, and it's Action News Time 606 right now. Still to come, a change of heart on the campaign trail. Why Donald Trump now says he regrets some of his controversial comments. And also ahead, finally heading back to America. We're live with new information on the four U.S. swimmers accused of lying about a robbery at the Summer Olympics. Plus, speed was the name of the game last night in Rio. Find out if the fastest man on earth could retain that title during the 200-meter final. But before we go, here's a live look at the North Valley from our Merced Skycam. Meteorologist Rob Bradley is tracking some cooler conditions as we start the weekend. This portion of Action News is brought to you by Paul Everts RV. America's largest manufacturers present the Hot August RV Expo inside the cool Visalia Convention Center starting Wednesday, August 24th. While everyone is blowing out 2016s, we're blowing out 2017 motorhomes, travel trailers, toy haulers, and more. It's all free. Don't miss it. Kids all over Clovis are doing things they normally wouldn't, so their parents will take them to the new California Kids location at Sean Fowler. It's a totally cool layout and the same awesome team of dentists with pro skills kids love. California Kids, now in Clovis. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, the only thing we have to fear is buffering. 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 Don't buffering. let slow internet get in the way of homework. Buffering. Get your kids up to speed with Xfinity, the fastest, most reliable in-home Wi-Fi, even when the whole family is online. Get the X1 Double Play from Comcast, now only $69.99 a month for a year. Or ask her to upgrade to a triple play and lock in your rate for two years. Sale ends August 21st, so go online, call, and visit today. Coming up, Rob Bradley with the exclusive Storm Storm 30 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. Back to school time is here. Help your child prepare with a fresh start. K-12 has easy tips for a successful school year. Organize a homework area. Utilize technology and research online tools. Establish daily and weekly schedules. Structure them around the way your child learns best. K-12 offers tuition-free online public schools, challenging curriculum, state-certified teachers, and learning coach support to guide you. Learn more at k12.com. This is it. Just three days remaining of the amazing More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale. So don't waste another minute. Pay no interest for 60 months on every bedroom, on every living room, and every dining room. 60 months. That's five years from now. Some of our lowest payments ever. Don't wait. Go to the More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale before it's all over Monday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. 
see Cirque du Soleil in a stunning new light in this visually breathtaking odyssey inspired by James Cameron's avatar. Experience a live storytelling journey through a new world of imagination, discovery, and endless possibilities. Toruk, the first flight, presented by Visa Signature, playing October 27th to 30th at the Save Mart Center. Tickets on sale now at CirqueDuSoleil.com. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Jason Oliveira, and meteorologist Rob Bradley with the Stormwarn 30 forecast. Well, if you're just waking up with us, it's Friday. Congratulations for making it this far. And so I'm a lot, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how their weekend is going to be looking like. Well, it's going to look a little bit cooler than what we saw for most this week, but it's still going to be warm. Unfortunately, mm. yeah. We still have All smoke right. around this morning as well. There's <laughs> actually an air quality alert out for the amount of smoke that's expected to be in the valley today. Uh, fine particulate matter stayed in the moderate range all day yesterday. It could bump up a little bit more, though, this afternoon. And uh, looking at a very hazy view from our Valley Children's Hospital sky cam this morning, you can hardly see the foothills if you can even make them out at all. Temperatures at the moment a little bit cooler, though, so there's some good news there. 71 degrees right now in Fresno. Dew points in the mid-50s with calm winds. Visibility actually being affected by the smoke a bit this morning. It's down to nine miles at the Fresno Airport. Everyone else in the Valley floor, a good bit cooler than Fresno this morning. 66 for Lemoore and Madera, 65 in Merced and in Hanford. Porterville also at 65 degrees. Those temperatures are down one to as much as five degrees everywhere this morning, except in Fresno is up one degree from this time 24 hours ago. Wind speeds mostly staying light to start the day as well. Pick it up out of the northwest at 7 miles an hour in Lemoore, out of the southeast in Porterville at 6. Those winds will pick up to 5 and 15 miles an hour out of the northwest late in the afternoon with some gusts of 10 and 20 miles an hour possible towards the end of the day. At 7.30, you see the gusts there get, getting up to around 15 miles an hour in Fresno before they start calming down again early tomorrow morning. Fog Tracker still has the patchy dense fog on shore through the next couple of hours. 7.30, the patchy dense fog is on shore all the, all the way up to uh, close to the Pacheco Pass. You might want to leave yourself a few extra minutes if you're still heading west this morning. We're uh, warming up very quickly again today up to 90 degrees at noon, 99 at 4 o'clock. But those temperatures will come down over the weekend. Clear skies right now. We do have an area of low pressure that's bringing in that slightly cooler air uh, from the north and east. The coolest air way off to the north and east. So we're not really seeing a good cool down into cool temperatures, but it is going to be cooler than what we've seen so far this week. Still expect a few pop-up showers and possibly a thunderstorm in the Sierra this afternoon with the easterly winds. Uh, probably not blowing the showers into the Central Valley, but we could see a few clouds later in the day from those pop-up showers. And temperatures, the good news is they keep on going down. 98 degrees by Sunday, down to 97. That's our average by the time we get to Monday. We'll get another look at your extended forecast. Let you know what you could expect into next week. Coming up in a few minutes right now, let's get a look at the roads with CHP officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. I do have a couple crashes. First one's going to be down in the South Valley State Route 43 at Grangeville. We have a semi truck versus uh, two different vehicles. Uh, so please uh, be careful if you're heading through that area this morning. Watch out for slowing vehicles. Uh, the other one's going to be uh, here in the Fresno area, Kearney Boulevard and Monroe Avenue. Uh, two vehicles involved on that one. One uh, struck a tree as well. So please uh, use some caution to head through there as well this morning. Taking a live look outside, this is going to be southbound 41 at Bullard Avenue. As you can see, traffic is starting to pick up, but is moving at the speed limit through that part of Fresno. It's going to be a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please put those cell phones down and keep your eyes on the road. Veronica and Tony, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you. Well, Action News time is 6.13 now. Still to come, what Donald Trump is scheduled to do today in flood-ravaged Louisiana. Plus, more American gold. Details on the man dubbed as the most athletic man in the world who brought home the top prize in the decathlon. Across this great valley, students are getting ready to go back to school. Together, let's make sure they have a great start. Check that your child's immunizations are up to date. Make sure little ones drink plenty of water and have healthy snacks. Stay engaged, support your school, and look for ways you can volunteer. And everyone gets to load in school zones. I'm Jim Vida, Tulare County Superintendent of Schools, and we're putting children first. 
Hi, I'm Jim Peterson, founder and CEO of Solar for America by Peterson Dean. You've seen our 33 year special. You know we've been around a long time. Today we're talking solar power systems built by roofers for consumers. The best solar American made. And we've got one heck of a fantastic offer for you for a limited time. Be the envy of the neighborhood. Reduce that electric bill to as low as six cents fixed for life. Solar for America, here's my offer. You heard Jim. We're celebrating 33 years by providing you this phenomenal deal on an American made solar power system. Call Peterson Dean today and receive a discount of $100 off each solar panel you buy. That's why a six-panel system gets you a $600 discount. Buy a 36-panel system and get $3,600 off. The more you buy, the more you save. Holy Panel Palooza. It's Peterson Dean's 33-year celebration. Reps are standing by to take your call and set up your free on-site consultation. Call 888-880-0221. 888 -880 Everyone wants better chicken. It's true. And that's what you get at Subway with the new Chicken Caesar Melt. Rotisserie-style chicken that's raised without antibiotics. The savory Caesar sauce, melted provolone, and Parmesan cheese. The new Chicken Caesar Melt from Subway. A Phoenix was the best decision I ever made. There are some things diet and exercise can't change. I did a lot of research. The results that I saw on the Athenix website were unbelievable. The before and afters made me excited to get it done. You can have the body you want this summer if you contact Athenix now for a free consultation. When I saw my reflection, I was overcome with happiness and confidence. Go to athenixbody.com. Check out the amazing before and after pictures. Then contact Athenix for a free consultation. This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yeah, per second. This is the new 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Step up to GMC and get cash back for up to 16% of the MSRP on these select 2016 GMC vehicles. That's over 7,400 cash back on the Sierra SLT crew. See your Fresno GMC dealer. never gets old. It doesn't. It never gets old. I love it so much. All right, it's 617 right now, and it was another big day of speed at the Summer Games in Rio with much more gold for Team USA. And as ABC's Jim Ryan tells us, the women's relay team will be back on the track tonight after an unusual race yesterday. A sweet reprieve for the Americans who got a second chance at the U.S. versus France in the women's basketball semis. The Americans said au revoir to their French rivals, trouncing them 86 to 67. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, let's move on to the Friday forecast. Rob is tracking some cooler temperatures, right, as we head into Friday? He is. <laughs> what can you tell us, Rob? Well, there, there, things are going to be cooler, but barely. Still warm outside through the uh, weekend and through this afternoon as well. A little bit of smoke out there. High pressure still in control, but uh, we're getting a few clouds over the Sierra this morning. A little bit of moisture making its way in over Hume Lake right now. You can expect a few pop-up showers, uh, very isolated to scattered showers uh, through the evening, through, excuse me, through the afternoons and evenings in the Sierra through the next few days. Temperatures do cool down about another degree or two in the Central Valley today, up to around 100 in Fresno with 90s in a few spots. We're down to 97 in Merced. How about that? 97 degrees, 98 in Tulare this afternoon with triple digit heat on the way from Hanford down through Colingo, 100 to around 102 this afternoon. Your foothill forecast stays mostly in the 90s again, cooling down by about a degree today from what we saw yesterday, up to 95 in Mariposa, 98 for Coors Gold, 97 in Auberry. Squaw Valley, though, still at around 101 this afternoon with hot and hazy sunshine. Smoky conditions continue for a lot of folks as well. Your Sierra forecast is in the upper 70s in Sequoia National Park and Huntington Lake with overnight lows mostly in the 40s still for those locations. Fast Lake overnight lows in the upper 50s with highs in the low 90s today and highs in the upper 90s on the valley floor in Yosemite. But you could get some clouds and a quick little sprinkle in the afternoon if you're heading up to the Sierra. 83 degrees in Los Angeles today. 67, though, for Pismo. Mostly mid-60s along the central California coast for the weekend. And you're still going to see some patchy, dense fog in the areas until around 10, 30, 11 o'clock each morning, possibly until noon in a few spots. Clear skies on your satellite and radar, but you can see the gray here that's still sticking around. That's moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's giving us enough juice to fire up those pop-up showers and thunderstorms in the afternoons. And it's going to stick around with us through the weekend. Just isolated stuff for the most part. You only have about a 20% chance to see those pop-up showers and thunderstorms, but the higher you are, the better chance you get 
to see those showers. And by the time we get to Saturday, the easterly winds are strong enough so that we can get a few clouds here in the Central Valley from those showers in the mountains. And that'll hopefully give us some shade, help us to stay a little bit cooler tomorrow. Sunday, though, lots of sunshine. 100 degrees for your Friday, down to 98 on Sunday, 97 Monday. But that's the coolest day out of your next seven. So hopefully you can enjoy that 97 degrees. Tony, Veronica, back to you. Looking forward to it, Rob. Thank you. So to come on Action News Day and Live, Shoshana is busting out the fresh fruit, and we're going to check in with her next. Then later in a live report, new developments from Rio on the four U.S. swimmers accused of lying about a recent robbery. Also ahead, another live update from Porterville. The breaking news we've been tracking all morning. We're going to have the condition of an officer who was shot by a suspect near the high school. We like Personal Express because we can actually walk into an office and talk to a person. You don't have to pick up a phone and talk to an automated voice. You can actually just walk in, have your question answered face to face. Well, we save a lot of money with the discounts over at Personal Express Insurance. The multi-car discount. Good driver. The home and auto. And the home alarm. You're supporting yes. your neighbors. You're supporting the people that live in your area. I think you should say that. That gave me goosebumps. You just did. I just did. <laughs> now open in the Fig Garden Village. These are school supplies, right? Not exactly. To a foster child, they're a chance to keep up in school. In math. Reading. Science. I got an A. That means better grades. And feeling proud. So I can be a veterinarian. A teacher. A cowgirl detective. Through Sunday, bring your gift of school supplies for foster kids to any sleep train or donate at sleeptrain.com. Not everyone can be a foster parent, but anyone can help a foster child. Looking for a new ride? See over 200 used cars, trucks, and SUVs at MichaelAuto.com. Interest rates as low as 1.9%. 100 trade-ins and a large selection of factory certified pre-owned. Money back guarantee available on every unit in stock, plus a free Carfax. Get the right vehicle at the right price at Michael Chevrolet, Fresno's largest Chevrolet dealer. With over 200,000 satisfied customers since 1985. Find new roads. For the right vehicle at the right price, visit Michael today. ABC 30 and Tachi Palace bring you this Wheel Instant Solve. The category is Fun and Games. Know this Wheel Instant Solve? Stay tuned. I love my Tachi Palace Premier Club card, and not just because it's free. It's because I earn free rooms, discounts on spa treatments, and I earn cash back and e-cash. My girlfriends and I love a night out, and with our Premier Club card, it's more than a win. It's a win-win. This Wheel Instant Solve is... Roulette Wheel. Watch Wheel of Fortune. Weeknights at 7.30 on ABC 30. I called for help as soon as I saw her. I found her wandering miles from home. When the phone rang at 5 a.m., I knew it was about Mom. I see how hard it's been on her at work, and I want to help. For the 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's and the millions more who feel its effects, let's walk together to make an even bigger impact and end Alzheimer's for good. Find a walk near you at alz.org slash walk. Welcome back. It is 624 this morning, and we've got a way to help you cool down this weekend yeah. using fresh fruit from the valley. This week, Chef Shana shows us how to make smoothie bowls. With all the excitement of kids heading back to school, fill up your breakfast bowl with something other than plain cereal. Today we are going to make an acai smoothie bowl that your kids are going to love. For the smoothie, I'm going to mix together three ingredients. I picked up a few packets of Sambazan acai smoothie packs at Costco. Mix that in with one quarter cup of liquid. And today I'm using coconut milk, but use juice or almond milk or regular dairy milk, whatever you please. And then I'm also using one frozen banana. And frozen bananas make smoothies really nice and creamy and add a great texture. Blend your smoothie until it's well combined. So let your blender run a few seconds longer. After you've poured the smoothie into the bowl, get your children involved and let them add the toppings. If you put out a couple of topping options for them, they can decorate the bowl and make it really pretty. Today I have a few options like granola, some fruit, strawberries, bananas, blueberries, as well as shredded coconut, goji berries, and some sesame seeds. I decided to create a pattern using rose, but get out your favorite fruits and toppings, get creative and have fun and enjoy your breakfast. A well, very healthy alternative there, and you can find Chef Shana's recipes by going to abc30.com slash chefshana. Well, looks pretty good too, yeah. huh?
Yummy. All right, 625 right now in our next half hour. The wildfire growing in parts of Tulare County this morning, plus the new blaze that topped up near Santa Barbara. Also ahead, how the morning commute on the East Coast got off to a deadly start. Details on this frightening bus crash. Plus, we're going to take you back out live to breaking news out of Porterville. The overnight investigation into a shootout between an officer and a suspect near Porterville High School. But before we go, here's a first look at Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, as Brazilian authorities intensify their investigation, we take a closer look at Ryan Lochte's bad boy past. It's not the first time Lochte has had a run-in with the law. Court records show he was charged for public urination in Florida in 2005. Five years later, he was charged with disorderly conduct after police say he was caught actively engaged in a physical fight. Both cases were dismissed after reaching prosecution deals. Lochte became a household name, making a huge splash at the London Games in 2012, where he took home five medals. The celebrity status earned him a starring role in his own reality TV show on E! What would Ryan Lochte do? The show only lasted one season, but Lochte told us just last month he would do it again. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have the latest reporting live from Rio. With your GMA First Look, I'm Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. Our cooling trend continues. How long 90s stick around on AM Live? He never believed in fairy tales, knights in shining armor, or happily ever after. But you believed when the right one came along, you'd be ready. Time to shine. Orbit. When I have a headache, I don't want to put my life on hold. I've got a big night planned with my friends, and I want to enjoy every moment of it. That's why I use fast-acting Excedrin for my headaches. Excedrin has two pain fighters plus a booster. And for some, headache relief starts in just 15 minutes. Excedrin specializes in treating headaches, which is why moments lost to headaches our moments gained with Excedrin. Velveeta breakfast biscuits are for everyone. Like the hottest guy at the office. Or the second hottest. It's a small office. Carefully baked and delicious, try Velveeta breakfast biscuits. Because we could all use steady morning energy. Looking for a new ride? See over 200 used cars, trucks, and SUVs at MichaelToyota.com. Interest rates as low as 1.9%. One owner trade-ins, lease returns, and a large selection of factory certified vehicles. Money back guarantee available on every unit in stock, plus a free Carfax. Get the right vehicle at the right price at Michael Toyota, Fresno's largest Toyota dealer. With over 200,000 satisfied customers since 1985. For the right vehicle at the right price, visit Michael today. Proposition 52 in the November ballot does two good things. It extends the current Medi-Cal hospital fee, which generates over $3 billion a year in federal matching funds that pay for health care services for children, seniors, and low-income families. And Prop 52 prohibits the legislature from diverting this money for other purposes without... Without a vote of the people. Two good reasons to keep a good idea working. Tested. Tried and true. Vote yes on 52. This is it. Just three days remaining of the amazing More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale. So don't waste another minute. Pay no interest for 60 months on every bedroom, on every living room, and every dining room. 60 months. That's five years from now. Some of our lowest payments ever. Don't wait. Go to the More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale before it's all over Monday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. C30 Action News AM Live starts now with 15 minutes of non-stop news. We start with another update on breaking news at 6.30. A Porterville police officer and a suspect are both in the hospital this morning after the two exchanged gunfire around 11.30 last night. Yeah, Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos is the only reporter live at the scene. Vanessa, can you show us what's going on out there? 
Tony, Veronica, right now, Olive is shut down between J and H Street as the Tulare County Sheriff's Office is investigating this officer involved shooting. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see how this all unfolded. You can see a police car right there behind another car. At around 11 last night, it started as a traffic stop. Now, the driver ran off toward H Street, so we're going to pan over left so you can see there are still several evidence markers, a, a few dozen or so at this time. Now, when he took off, he shot at the officer. Officer, that officer and another were able to return fire. Now, uh, once again, you can see about a dozen or so uh, evidence markers. Police have told me that the suspect was hit at least four times. That suspect, 29 year old Ruben Corellis, um, he was shot in his leg, arm, and torso. He's now listed in critical condition at the hospital after he just got out of surgery. Now, I did speak with the Porterville Chief of Police who tells me the officer who they're not going to identify is doing well after being shot behind his right hip. In fact, He's in good spirits and didn't require surgery. He's been with the department for about six months. The chief tells me this is the first time a Porterville officer has been shot in at least two decades. It's unfortunate it happens, and you know, you're seeing a lot of these incidents across the United States right now, and, and it's unfortunate for all the agencies that have to go through that. But uh, you know, we'll get through it. Um, you, know, you know, we'll get him better. We're just going to support him through all of his all his recovery and we'll get him better and we'll get him back to work. Tulare County Sheriff's Office is handling this investigation. They'll be out here for at least several hours. I also do want to mention Porterville police officers do not wear body cameras yet. You may have seen Tuesday City Council moved forward to, uh, with a proposal for body worn cameras. However, they are not wearing them yet. Once again, Olive is shut down between J and H Street. We do have several cars that are now moving into the area. I do want to show you that's J and Olive right there. Um, we are across the street from the high school, so this is going to be a congested area. You're going to want to avoid the area if you can or take an alternate route to get to the high school. I'm going to send it back to you in studio uh, reporting live in Porterville. Vanessa Vasconcelos, Action News AM Live. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, let's get to the Friday forecast with a live look from our Chukchansi Gold Resort and Casino. Sky Camp, really hazy from this viewpoint. Yeah, sure is. Let's turn things over to Rob on this Friday morning with a look at our forecast today. Hey, Rob. Hey there. Good morning. Smoke continues to make its way into the valley from several fires around the area, which is why we have an air quality alert in effect through 3.30 tomorrow. So this goes into effect today. It lasts into all the way till tomorrow afternoon. The smoke continues to make its way in from the southeast, primarily from that fire closer to Kern and Tulare counties. A fine particulate matter is expected to be in the moderate uh, to unhealthy for sensitive groups range during the afternoon. Not only that, we're still unhealthy for sensitive groups as far as ozone is concerned, almost in the unhealthy levels in Fresno and Madera counties at a 147. That unhealthy range starts at a 151, so we're just barely under that threshold this afternoon. High pressure is making its way into the Pacific Northwest, keeping our temperatures near 100 degrees, but we are seeing this cooler air make its way in around this weak upper level area of low pressure. That is going to bring us a few more pop-up showers to the Sierra this afternoon, as well as that continuing cooling trend into the weekend. Mid-60s to low 70s at the moment around Fresno. That's 90 degrees at noon today. We're up to 99 at 4 o'clock, but the double digits become much more widespread over the weekend. We'll get a look at that weekend forecast in just a few minutes. Right now, let's go check on those roads again with CHP officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go to that live traffic tracker. Take a look at your Friday morning commute. I do have a crash from earlier down in the South Valley. Uh, State Route 43 at Grangeville. We had a semi truck and two vehicles involved on that one. They uh, should be getting it wrapped up, but uh, please watch out for merge crews while they get the finish getting that cleared up for us this morning. And then a new hazard in the Fresno area, uh, Huntsman and Willow Avenue. We have a car fire there. Looks like the vehicle is blocking the roadway there as well. So please uh, be careful. You may want to avoid that uh, intersection if you can for a little while. Taking a live look outside, it's going to be State, or, uh, State Route 41 at Bullard. As you can see, traffic is light and moving at the speed limit through that part of Fresno. That's going to be a quick your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone that school is back in session, so please watch out for those crosswalks this morning. Tony and Veronica, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you. What's well, happening now? The Cedar Fire is prompting evacuations in Kern and Tulare counties this morning. That fire sparked on Tuesday and has since scorched 9,500 acres. It's listed at just 5% containment. The U.S. Forest Service says there are flames on both sides of Highway 155, which is closed at the Sequoia National Forest boundary. The Kern County Fire Department issued a recommended evacuation warning, so homeowners warning the homeowners that the fire is becoming more of a threat. Some homeowners there are staying put until they have no other choice but to leave. 
just, you know, we're right off the main road and the keys are in the ignition and we're really ready and, and loaded. And there have been no reports of injuries or any structures burned so far. We're following a developing story out of Southern California. Firefighters are making progress on the Blue Cut Fire. Some evacuations have been lifted even. The wildfire has burned nearly 36,000 acres and is 22% contained right now. More than 1,600 firefighters are working to tame the flames. Cal Fire requesting more to join the fight. Officials say gaining access to the fire has been difficult and the heat has halted progress. Red flag alert has been extended and uh, we are trying to make sure that our folks continue to hydrate and uh, but we got to work we got to work hard we got to stay right on this fire perimeter and make sure we don't lose control of what we have. Officials have not yet revealed how many structures have been destroyed. The cause of the fire is also unknown this morning. Well happening now another fire is threatening homes this morning. This one burning just north of Santa Barbara. The Ray fire sparked yesterday afternoon and has grown to 600 acres. Containment is holding at 20% and some mountain cabins were evacuated, but exact numbers haven't yet been released. Now, this last, the last massive wildfire to spark in this area was back in 2007. More than 375 square miles were burned in what became one of the largest fires in California's history. We now know the name of the man in a wheelchair killed in a hit and run crash in central Fresno. 54 year old Christopher Varela was hit by a black lifted pickup truck at Blackstone and Clinton Wednesday night. The driver of the truck was caught on camera as he drove away. Several witnesses rushed to help Varela just moments after the crash, but he died. Chief Jerry Dyer says the driver faces serious charges for leaving the scene. Regardless of whether or not this individual was in the wheelchair, was in a crosswalk or not, uh, the motorist uh, had a legal responsibility to, to stop and to remain at the scene and to contact law enforcement or wait for our arrival. Blackstone. Officers are using footage from the area to try and obtain a license plate number on that truck. Well, we have an update on breaking news from Newark, New Jersey. Take a look at this bus crash that happened during the morning commute. The two city buses somehow collided around 6 in the morning East Coast time. One person died in that crash, and at least 19 others were hurt by the impact. Their conditions aren't being released this morning, but you can see one of the buses looks like it was broken in half. So far, it's unclear how fast they were going when they hit or what exactly caused them to collide. The day investigation, of course, could take several days. We're following another developing story this morning. Two U.S. Olympic swimmers are back on American soil this morning. They were questioned in Brazil following claims that they and Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte were robbed. Brazilian authorities now say those claims were made up, but the swimmers are sticking to their story. ABC's Stephanie Ramos joins us live from Washington with new details. And Stephanie, it's real hard to tell who's telling the truth here. Seriously, Tony, this story out of the Olympics just keeps unraveling, and it's still unclear if this group of U.S. Olympic athletes were robbery victims in Rio or not. American swimmers Gunnar Bentz and Jack Conger are back on U.S. soil, landing in Miami this morning on a flight from Rio after hours of testifying to police. The Olympic athletes and teammate Ryan Lochte claim they were robbed after a late night of partying. Brazilian police say that's not true, but that the athletes instead vandalized a gas station bathroom and were questioned by armed guards before they paid for the damage and left. Lochte's been back in the States now for a couple of days. Teammates Conger and Bentz were escorted off a U.S. bound flight Wednesday night and taken to the police station. The fourth swimmer, James Fegan, reaching a deal with Brazilian police overnight. Fegan can leave Brazil freely after he donates roughly $11,000 to charity. On the night in question, Lochte and his teammates maintain they got in a taxi to head to the Olympic Village, and that's where the story gets a little murky. Lochte laying out details to NBC News. The guy pulled out his gun, he cocked it, put it to my forehead, and said, get down, and I was like, I put my hands up, I was like, whatever. But police released new surveillance video from the gas station where the swimmers say the robbery took place, saying at least one of four Olympic swimmers are seen breaking down a bathroom door at a gas station, then getting into a fight with a security guard. Sources who spoke to all four swimmers say their story still holds up because three minutes of video is missing, which they claim would show the men being held up at gunpoint and bullied to sit down on the curb until they handed over cash. 
Overnight, the U.S. Olympic Committee putting out this statement saying we apologize to our host in Rio and the people of Brazil for this distracting ordeal. Authorities are asking Lochte and that other swimmer, James Fegan, be indicted for lying to police, but any jail time is highly unlikely. In Washington, I'm Stephanie Ramos, Action News, AM Live. Tony and Veronica, back over to you guys. All right, thank you so much. Well, coming up on 640 this morning, you're looking live from our Korea Delta Medical Center Skycam in Visalia. Rob Bradley is tracking some cooler conditions just in time for the weekend. Ja, uh, <laughs> Rob, uh, a lot of people happy about that, right? Yeah, yeah, as you should be. Temperatures are continuing to go down. Your weekend plans look slightly cooler, although still warm and definitely smoky outside. As you get a look from our downtown Fresno Skycam, visibility actually being affected at the airport this morning from the smoke and haze that's in the Central Valley, making its way in from fires in the area, mostly from the fire to our south and east near Tulare and Kern County. 71 degrees in Fresno right now, 66 for Lemoore and Madera, down to 65 in Merced, and Visalia winning the cool contest this morning at 64 degrees. Wind speeds for the most part staying light to start the day out of the northwest at 7 miles an hour in Lemoore. Those northwesterly winds will pick up a bit more in the afternoon at around 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts getting up to around 15 to 20 miles an hour times as we head through the evening. You see it at 730 uh, tonight. Those winds picking up to around 15 and 20 miles an hour across the valley floor continuing through early tomorrow morning. They will pick back up again on your Saturday afternoon and evening. Air quality remains unhealthy for sensitive groups, but this is just for ozone. We also have an air quality alert in effect through tomorrow afternoon for the smoke that's making its way into the Central Valley. Clear skies outside right now on your satellite radar. A big chunk of sunshine being carved out over the West Coast, but there is some moisture being left over. And you can see some of the showers that popped up from that moisture yesterday uh, closer to uh, Nevada, but uh, mostly in the northwestern corner of Arizona. Those showers make their way into the Sierra again in the afternoon in the form of small and isolated pop-up showers and thunderstorms. 100 degrees today in Fresno with smoky sunshine, 97 from Merced up to 100 in Visalia, 101 for Hanford, 102 in Lemoore this afternoon. Your foothill forecast is, again, mostly in the 90s today with smoky sunshine. A few clouds actually coming off of those pop-up showers. 97 degrees for Oakhurst, 98 in Coarse Gold, and 100 degrees in Three Rivers. And if you're headed up to the Sierra, do plan on a few pop-up showers being in the area, although they are going to be mostly isolated. 97 degrees in Yosemite, 91 for Bass Lake today, with mid-80s for Shaver Lake. Overnight lows in the 40s, so still chilly mornings to start in the Sierra. We'll get a final look at your extended forecast, let you know what you could expect through the weekend and into next week in about 10 minutes. Veronica and Tony, back to you. All right, thanks, Rob. Well, your voice, your vote. New this morning, Donald Trump is opening up on the campaign trail. In a rare admission, Trump says he regrets some of his comments that he's made. Sometimes in the heat of debate and speaking on a multitude of issues, you don't choose the right words or you say the wrong thing. I have done that. And believe it or not, I regret it. Well, Trump didn't say which specific comments he regrets. He's trailing Hillary Clinton in the polls with 80 days until the election. He did, however, make a promise to voters. And I do regret it, particularly where it may have caused personal pain. Too much is at stake for us to be consumed with these issues. But one thing I can promise you this. I will always tell you the truth. Trump and his running mate Mike Pence will head to Louisiana today, which has been ravaged by historic flooding. At least 13 people have been killed and more than 40,000 homes have been damaged. Action News time is 644 right now. Coming up next on AM Live, why well, you may want to grab a bucket and head to 7-Eleven today. Yeah, plus we're monitoring Wall Street for you this morning right now. We are down. We're going to get the latest numbers in a live report from New York City. Goodbye, social media. Hello, socializing. It's time to put down the phone and pick up the conversation, especially with a cold McCafe beverage to keep things sweet and tasty. Cool down the McDonald's way. Our creamy peach smoothie is made with low-fat yogurt and peaches grown in the Central Valley. Or enjoy a decadent icy caramel frappe topped with whipped cream and caramel drizzle. And here's to staying connected in person.
Kahuya Delta knows the art of caring should be close to home. So we offer health clinics in Lindsay, Woodlake, Dinuba, and Exeter, plus a family medicine center in Visalia, providing personal care for everyday illness and specialty procedures, keeping you healthy year round and through every season of life. Kahuya Delta cares for your family right in your own community. Kahuya Delta, more than medicine, life. Coming up, Rob Bradley with the exclusive Storm 130 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. Cuddle your newest loved one in special need baby clothing and cozy warm blankets from Frost Oak Creek Creations. An expanded baby section features many items made right in the store. Baby wear, quilts, and plush toys made to order at Frost Oak Creek Creations in Old Town Clovis. Life is better when you're fit. Get into GB3 George Brown Sports Club. Use the latest state-of-the-art equipment and take advantage of free group classes for members. Kids love the daycare at every club, and you can join for as low as a dollar a day. Pay as you go or month to month. One low price gets all five amazing clubs, plus the new Super Club coming to Champlain and Shepherd in 2017. Trade in any membership from some other club and save up to $199. Join today at club by phone or online. At America's Tire, we're not just about tires. We're about people. We take pride in getting you the right tire at the lowest price for your vehicle. Right now, get a $70 Visa prepaid card on any set of four Michelin tires, plus $30 when you purchase with America's Tire Credit. What happens when a veteran doesn't have enough to pay for his groceries? Sir, it's declined. Well, let's just say... I'll just put something else back. Come on. This will make your summer. Don't worry about it. Can I give you a hug? We'll take care of you. Thank you very much. What would you do tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC? This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Jason Oliveira, and meteorologist Rob Bradley with the Storm Storm 30 forecast. Welcome back. It is 647. In business news, stocks are down so far this morning on Wall Street. Maribel Aber is live at the NASDAQ market site in New York City monitoring those numbers. Good morning, Maribel. Hey, good morning, Veronica and Tony. You know, investors are pumping the brakes after several weeks of strong gains. Investors are sifting through upbeat economic data, but also signs that the Fed remains uh, kind of divided about the timing of the next interest rate hike. So the stocks in the red got the Dow down 100, NASDAQ down 21, and the S&P down 11. But oil, oil is on a tear now, officially back in a bull market. That means prices are up 20% from the recent low and up again today. Now, driving those gains, reports on falling stockpiles and renewed hopes that OPEC will cap production. It's something the market has been hoping for since oil prices crashed earlier this year. We've yet to see the countries agree on even freezing current production levels, though. All right, Slurpee fans, rejoice. Today and tomorrow, you can bring any cup to a 7-Eleven store and fill it up with your favorite Slurpee flavor for just $1.50. It's in honor of Slurpee's 50th birthday. Tony and Veronica. Tony, I, I, you said a bucket. I say bring a cup. No bucket. A child swimming pool. Have you seen these things they're bringing, the containers? <laughs> I know. They're huge. Some people walk in there with, like, really big buckets. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't imagine the amount of sugar that's in one cup, let alone those humongous buckets. The swimming pool. It's a party. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much, Maribel. All right, let's turn these over to Rob, though. Uh, speaking of uh, Slurpees, we're going to need it today. We are, and the rest of this weekend, it sounds yeah. like. Right, Rob? Absolutely, yeah. You're going to need a Slurpee. Uh, you might want to stay inside while you're drinking your Slurpee, though. Uh, we do have some smoke making its way into the valley. I believe we have a live picture looking at some smoke uh, rising from the cedar fire as well or something like that. There you go. Uh, look at that. Ugh. That's why you're smelling the smoke this morning. That's why you're seeing the haze and smoke in the air. And that's also why we have that air quality alert in effect through 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. That could be extended uh, into uh, Sunday as well, depending on how the winds shift. Right now, it's looking like the winds will shift in our favor on Sunday. But, yeah, a lot of smoke in the air today. Try to limit how much you're doing outside this morning and this afternoon. We are looking at a smoky sunshine in Yosemite as well. Southeasterly winds taking the smoke mostly away from Yosemite in the Sierra, but those winds could shift back to bring some smoke into the Sierra on Sunday. Today in the Central Valley, looking at temperatures that are staying warm to go along with that smoke. Near 100 degrees in Fresno, about 3 degrees above average. Overnight lows 
Starting off a little bit more mild once again this morning in Fresno, at least at around 70 degrees. Clear skies out there, except for the smoke that's rising from that cedar fire and making its way into the Central Valley. Oh, you're still sticking with some moisture you can see in the grays here from a weak upper level area of low pressure that's going to keep our cooling trend alive through the weekend, but we'll also keep those few pop up shower chances around uh, through the weekend as well. Those showers mostly pop up near the crest with a few clouds possibly making their way into the foothills, maybe onto the valley floor. Uh, those showers, though, stick to the Sierra all the way through the weekend uh, with those clouds potentially giving us some shade tomorrow. So hopefully we can get a break from some of the sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the smoke, though, will still likely be sticking around. Low pressure moves in through the weekend, eventually sweeps off to the east as we head into early next week. But our cooler temperatures will continue to make their way into the Central Valley through at least Monday. 99 degrees for your Saturday, 97 by Monday with a gradual warming trend through the middle of next week. Let's get another check on those roads before you head out the door. Here is CHP officer Justin Montooth with the latest. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. Roadways are looking pretty good right now as we uh, take a wide shot of the Merced area. The 99, 59, and 140 are all in the green at this time. Looks like traffic is uh, moving smoothly throughout the Merced area. Moving, to, uh, moving over to a watch out of uh, Fresno, the 99, 180, 41, and 168 are all in the green as well. Looks like uh, traffic moving smoothly throughout uh, Fresno. Taking a live look outside, uh, this is southbound 99 at Herndon Avenue. As you can see, traffic is moving at the speed limit, but you also see uh, some of that smoke that Rob was talking about. So please uh, be careful out there today. That's going to be a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please limit those distractions and don't text and drive. Veronica and, J uh, Veronica and Tony, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Officer, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, a, it's a confusing week. We've got everybody. Right. <laughs> okay, 6.52 right now. Coming up next, another live update on that breaking news from Porterville. Yeah, the streets are still closed this morning near the high school after a police officer was shot. His condition and what we know about the suspect who was also shot. This portion of Action News is brought to you by Paul Everts RV. America's largest manufacturers present the Hot August RV Expo inside the cool Visalia Convention Center starting Wednesday, August 24th. While everyone is blowing out 2016s, we're blowing out 2017 motorhomes, travel trailers, toy haulers, and more. It's all free. Don't miss it. Don't miss Fresno's annual Greek Festival, August 26th through 28th. It's an unforgettable odyssey into the heart of Greek culture. For details, visit FresnoGreekFest.com or call 559-233-0397. Opa! Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup on ABC 30. Brought to you by Chuck Chansey Gold Resort and Casino. Me and Ed's, because the magic word is pizza. And right now, you can get a large three-topping pizza for just eleven ninety-five. My veins in my legs were leaking. Edith had serious varicose veins. The larger veins were bulging out. The problem wasn't just cosmetic. It was a medical condition, and it was covered by my insurance. Edith saw Dr. Savatsa at Heart Artery and Vein Center. I feel much better uh, when I do walk, when I exercise. Varicose veins need to be checked. Learn more at abc30.com. Medical specialist. I was glad that I took care of that before I went any further. California's clean air laws are working. We've cut toxic pollution. We're seeing fewer cases of asthma in kids. And the new clean energy economy has created more than half a million jobs. I'm Tom Steyer. Just when we're making progress, the oil companies are trying to weaken our clean air laws. But we can stop them. Send them a message. We're going to protect our kids, not their profits. This is it. Just three days remaining of the amazing More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale. So don't waste another minute. Pay no interest for 60 months on every bedroom, on every living room, and every dining room. 60 months. That's five years from now. Some of our lowest payments ever. Don't wait. Go to the More Furniture 39th Anniversary Sale before it's all over Monday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. Six fifty-four right now, and we've been tracking breaking news all morning long out of Porterville. 
Olive Street near the high school is closed this morning after a police officer was shot by a suspect around 11.30 last night. Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos is the only reporter live at the scene, and she's been keeping us updated all morning. What can you tell us right now, Vanessa? Tony, Veronica, crews have been out here since 11.15 last night. We do have the Tulare County Sheriff's Office that is actively investigating this officer involved shooting. If you look just beyond me, you see this started out as a traffic stop at around 11.15 last night. Now the driver, he took off on foot toward H Street. So we're going to pan over and show you that is where he went to shoot the officer. The officer and another return fire. You can see about several evidence markers down there. Now we do know the suspect was shot four times. His name is Ruben Corrales. He's 29 years old. He's now in critical condition after being treated and undergoing surgery at the hospital. I did speak with Porterville Police Chief. He tells me that this is the first time a Porterville police officer has been shot in at least two decades. He says it's much longer than that, though. He also says the officer who they're not identifying right now is doing well after being shot behind his right hip. Now, he didn't require surgery and um, he is believed to be in good spirits. Once again, Olive Street shut down between J and H. Keep in mind, we are near the hot near the high school, excuse me. So you're going to want to avoid the area um, if you are trying to get anywhere quickly. I'm going to send it back to you in studio, Veronica Tony. All right, thank you, Vanessa. And we're going to take a final check of our weather with Rob Bradley. Who's got a forecast? We still have an air quality alert in effect. The good news is temperatures are coming down, but you may want to stay inside. There's that air quality alert that's in effect through 3:30 tomorrow afternoon. Your seven-day forecast, though, gets us back into the 90s tomorrow. All right. Thanks so much. That does it for us. Good morning, America is next. And we'll see you again later at 7:25.